Welcome to this. I am now officially 50 years old. So hello Vanessa, Monica, uh, John, Molly, hi. Hi to you all. I'm just sure there might be some of messages. Oh, there is. Christopher, uh, hi everyone. Now, if I get rid of this, oh, blimey, my tummy's gurgling. My tummy, what's going on? Okay, so I can now see on my um, my tablet what people are writing. So how wondrous is uh, Molly, happy birthday, Linda, Linda, hi Jason, hi. Aria Stewart, hi, Monica. <laughs> he just wanted to kiss me. He's kissing me happy birthday. Are you giving me kisses? <laughs> hi, I'm Anna, Aria. <laughs> hey. I wonder how long he'll actually stay here with me while I talk to you. Welcome to the 50s, I know. Hi, Linda. Hi Boston, hi Lisa. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Right, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm being distracted by some messages. Thank you, everyone, for your happy birthday wishes. It's very kind of you. Thank you, Aria. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Boston. Thank you. All right, so it's... Kevin is here watching with me. Okay, Vanessa. Hi, Kevin. I thought this was a ladies-only night. <laughs> it's ladies' night. <clears throat> Got to log into my laptop, says Boston. What is... So I've got to look at something here. So Molly's just posted me something. So give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Um... 
Looks like video or something. Okay, Phil Migo. Hi, Jason. A few of us wanted to wish you a happy birthday. So I'm just reading this. I've got no sound. Why have I got no s I've got no sound. Oh, wait a minute. It's Christmas birthday to you. Oh, right, well, I've got sound now. Morning, happy birthday. Have a fabulous day. Hi. Hey. Hey, Jason. I just wanted to say happy 50th birthday to you. So I'm going to sing you a little song. Happy birthday to you. Can I fast forward Happy this bit? Happy <laughs> birthday Happy birthday, bit. Have a great day and enjoy all the special things that happen to your birthday. Thank you. Jason, I'd like to wish you a very happy 50th birthday with lots of presents, cards, wishes, and of course, love to Andre, um, love from Juicy from the Netherlands. Bye! <laughs> wow. Happy 50th, Jason. I hope you have a really awesome day today. I recognize that lady. Did you say behave myself? No. Molly here, just coming on to say a very happy birthday to you. I hope that you have a lovely day and that Andre is spoiling you and behaving. And I hope you love this video. I'll listen to you soon. Love what you do. Bye. Wow. Thank you, Deb, Rachel, Kissy, Boston, and Molly. Wow. Wow. I did not expect that. How do I post that? Can I share that on Facebook? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Andre thinks it's for him, don't you, Andre? Huh? Morning. Happy birthday. Fabulous day. I'm just going to keep watching it. I'll turn the volume down, but I want to keep watching it while I'm doing this. Wow. Rachel, you've got a, you got your hairs blowing in the wind. Are you outside? Or is it just really so windy up north that just your hair gets blown about even when you're indoors? Say thank you to everyone, because Andre's birthday as well. He's now five. I'm the big five-o, oh, he's the big five. Or oh, five. Hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So whoever, um, whoever's idea this was, thank you, and everyone that participated. Um, wow. I found out that there was... <laughs> There was some, a secret meeting going on from Molly, but she didn't say any more than that. She mentioned, I thought she was joking. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much. And so I'm a little bit behind now on people that have, well, I better go back to, um, wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, what on earth am I doing? Right, I'm throwing off now. Right, I'm trying to keep track of who's written, so I'm a little bit behind because I was... Facebook's not very good on the, the iPad. It's not giving me... Why have I got an advert on my Facebook page? from Spreaker saying, thinking of starting a podcast, Spreaker is the easiest way to get started. Me, trying to, t trying to sell me something that I'm already got. I'm already with them, man. 
So thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Vanessa. Why don't you just stay still? Just stay in my arms like a little baby. Come on. He wants to go for a walk. And he's not. I wasn't sure who else to message, so sorry for anyone who wanted to contribute. Well, you can always redo it. I mean, I'm, you know, it's my birthday all day. <laughs> um, oh yeah, by the way, I'm recording this for my Let Me Boy To Sleep podcast, so it's gonna be a bit weird because I haven't said the Hello, welcome to JasonNewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. And you listen when you can safely close your eyes. What are you staring at? What's your problem? What are you staring at? What are you staring at? Do you want to see him with his girlfriend? Let me get his girlfriend, come on. That's a treat. Ow! Oh. I'm not built for bending over these days. Here is his girlfriend. very sticky. Now, what do you think he wants? You hear him? Doesn't want me having it. He doesn't like me touching him or her. Look. <laughs> Come on, do you want it? Blimey, <laughs> he's got it on as a hat. <laughs> go, ugh, I've got it on my face. Do you want it then? Go on then. Oh, okay, I've got to let him go. There you go. You know what's really weird? Is I let him on the floor and he ran straight over to where his girlfriend was, where the slipper was to see if it was there. Oh. Oh. Um, so hi Lilith, hi Brooke, uh, thank you for your birthday wishes. Uh, and thank you David, happy, happy, um, happy wishing me a happy birthday, I think. Oh wow, I'm just trying to keep track of the, he is very possessive. I can't, it's really weird. I'm not able to see the comments. I can only see the last like two or three comments and then it's just moving on. So Vanessa posted a message 21 minutes ago, can't wait to see you, so thank you. Um, I know it's still a small amount of people, but it's still nice. It's lovely to, it's like, you know what? It's all like, like a birthday party. 
sort of. So I've got some cards, more cards than I've had in probably, I think this is more birthday cards than I've had since I was 30, probably. Yeah, probably. Maybe 40, maybe I did get a few cards at my 40th. But I know I got a few cards on my 30th because I was working in the nightclub and now I actually, to be fair, I think I just got one big card. But it's kind of on par, it might be more. I did not sniff my... Mm. Mm, it smells like... <laughs> ferret. Ferret, um... Spam. So, I've... Uh, this is my first card that I got. There you go. And I know it's gonna, is it gonna be back to front because the camera's the wrong way around, but I can't see myself, so. Um, but that's the card. It says, Jason, happy 50th. There's simply not enough words to say how much everyone appreciates you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for going above and beyond with your recordings. Have a brilliant birthday. Sending lots of lots of love and happiness for one of your biggest fans of Let Me Boy to Sleep, Kay. Thank you, Kay. Really appreciate that. But Kay's not here. Kay's not here. So I have a few messages to read out because some people couldn't make it. Because let's face it, people are dotted all around the world. So I've got people that would like to perhaps be part of this in America, uh, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, UK, different parts of Europe, South Africa, Canada, does I say Canada? Um, so not everybody can be here because some people need to get up early in the morning. Um, in America, of course, you've got t different time zones just in your own country. So it's, and not everybody's gonna know about it. Not everyone's, Plus, there's going to be quite a few people that probably don't want to do it, which is fine. I hate you. Wow. Even on the back, look, there's a picture of Andre on the back. So thank you very much. It's a lovely card. Right, the next one is um, that one. It says, a little bird told me you're 21 and I was all like, holy poo, a talking bird. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, dear Jason, happy 5am 21st birthday. Very cheeky. Thanks for always being awesome, giving and caring so much for others. You're one of a kind and brilliant at what you do and I'm so glad I found your work. I hope you have the best year yet. Lots of love, Molly. Thank you very much, Molly. So here's another one I got. Uh, so I need to read out some of the message you're giving. I sent my, my card late, I'm sorry, but it's on the way. Thank you, Vanessa. Well, I put my address on my website and then I took it off, so um, there was probably a few people that were possibly going to send cards, but they couldn't because they didn't have the address. That's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> um, but, how, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's... This is more cards than I've had. I, mean, I would say probably since I was a teenager. Maybe since I was 21. I think I probably had a, quite a few cards when I was 21. But then again, only family. And my family was quite small by that time. You know, when I was a kid, I had like four brothers and parents and grandparents on both sides, you know, uncles and aunts and cousins. But by the time I got to 21, it was kind of, well, they were still around. They just uh, hid from me. So that's, this is my next one. It says, happy 50th birthday. Time seems to pass so quickly. Birthdays come and go. Then before you know it, you've reached the big five-o. Oh. 
Sir. Who's that from? Ah. Turning 50 is, a, is special, so it's hoped that you will find this decade's even better than the one you've been left behind. Dear Jason, have fifth, happy 50th birthday. Have a lovely birthday. See you soon. Love always, Teresa. She's my friend that I've known since 2002. And she's a very close friend of mine. Um, I was hoping she'd be able to get here, but she's got a... This is quite late for her, and she's got a, like a, a child to look after, so I think she might she might be in bed. I think she has quite early nights. Child. <laughs> she's a child. Okay, there you go. Look, there's another one. This says, Even the Cape Crusaders couldn't handle the glare from all of your candles. Yeah. Birthday cake. Where is it? Mm. I think the last thing my my the last thing my tummy needs is more sugar. Um, I hope you have a nice birthday, Jason. Happy birthday, all the best, Mary. Um, Mari, I always say the name wrong. I'm sorry, Mari. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll read out your. I need to read out your messages as they come. So what I've done. I've, Look at the thing. Lilith says, knew you did not sniff your hand. Yeah, I did, sorry. Um, I'm just glad I'm in the UK and I could catch this area. Thank you. Vanessa says, it's only a little past 8 p.m. here in Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, it's okay, I tracked it down. I'm good that way, Vanessa. Linda Jones is there as well. Thank you. Um... Also, I need to say a thank you. I need to say a thank you from, where is it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, that's not the one. Back, go away. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to say thank you to two people. I say thank you to Kissy, so thank you Kissy again, uh, she sent me a, a, a PayPal uh, gift, thank you very much, I will reply as well, but if you're listening to this, or if you listen back to it, thank you. So I've got another one, it says 50th today, 50 today, 1970 was a very special year, famous people born in 1970, Melissa McCarthy, Alan Shearer, Frankie Dettori, Beth Orton, Gareth Southgate, Claudia Schiffer, Johnny Vegas, Maria Carey, um, Mariah Carey. Well, Claudia Schiffer's too old for me now. I never thought I'd say that. Mariah Carey, really? I didn't know she was my age. The headlines for 1970 are Boeing... 747 Jumbo Jet, also Concorde, landed for the first time at Heathrow. After the general election, Edward Heath succeeded Harold Wilson as Prime Minister. The Equal Pay Act gave women greater financial rights. In other words, a very boring year. When you say, oh, Molly says, oh, now I find no... What you mean when you say kissy? Okay. Oh yeah. It's no when when Kissy first sent me a message ages and ages ago, she told me how to pronounce her name. Otherwise I'd have been saying goo goose because it's yeah, G I U S Y. Goosey or so I wouldn't have known it was Kissy. So cool name, isn't it? Okay, I won't read all of this. Um, yeah, I will. Keeping you entertained in 1970, Oscar win winners Patton, George C. Scott and Glenda Jackson. Glenda Jackson? Didn't she win a couple of Oscars and then go into politics? I think. 
Top Songs, Wandering Star, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Back Home, Woodstock, In the Summertime. A very boring year. I mean, yeah. I was born under the wandering star. After many rumours, the Beatles finally split up. About 650,000 fans were at the Isle of Wight Rock Festival starring Jimi Hendrix. Well, I didn't realise he was still alive um, in the 70s. So some of this won't mean anything to people outside of the UK. Some of the names like Melissa, well, Melissa McCarthy, obviously, you know, if you're, she's kind of worldwide. Alan Shearer, you may not know, he's a very famous footballer. Um, Frankie de Tori, he's, he's, he's very small, very small. Beth Orton, is a, she a porn star? I, I don't know who she is. Uh, Gareth Southgate is uh, a footballer, I think. Claudia Schiffer, I used to really fancy Claudia Schiffer when I was in my 20s. Andre, will you shut up? Johnny Vegas. Uh, he's famous in the UK. I don't know if other countries know him. He's a comedian, or he was a comedian. Uh, been on loads of TV shows. Mariah Carey. You've probably heard of her. I don't want a love for Christmas. Shopping costs in 1970. Petrol, 6S, 8D gallon, 7.5 litres. They didn't even have they didn't even have proper money back then. Colour TV license, 12 pound, because they still offered you a black and white TV license back then. Even when I was, even when I was in my twenties, I think you still get a black and white TV license. Road tax, £25. So colour TV licence is £12 a year. Now I pay that a month, I think. No, more than that. I think it's about £16 a month. Cinema ticket, 30 pence. Oh, so petrol was 7.5 pence a litre. Wow. Is that good? Large white sliced loaf, a bit random, 9.5 pence. Even when I was a kid, well still, you still get stuff like for five pence. And they got rid of the ones and two pences a few years back. Pints of milk, 5.5 pence. Now a pint is about a pound. Six eggs, 11 pence. You can get six eggs for about a pound. 150 depending if what kind you get. You didn't realise this was going to be a boring session, did you? Uh, <laughs> pints of bitter, 11 pence. Colour TV set, 272 pound. 241 pound to 272 pound. How ridiculous is it that TVs are now cheaper than they were in 1970? Of course you can spend more than £272, but you can get for £150, I think that's how much I spent on that TV I got there. Um, it's only four inches wide, but that's regardless. It's, I think it's 36 inches. And I paid about £150 for that. Actually, it was bought for me. So, for seriously, it's 1970. That's, I don't know how many years ago is that? Oh yeah, 50. So, 241 to £272. Average weekly earnings before tax, £19.95. Yeah? £19.95. You can't even get a large pizza for that. 
delivered now. So to Jason, 1970 was also a very special year because it was the year that you were born. Um, there weren't a lot going on in 1970, was there? I'm sure there was for other people you know, that were alive, but... 50, where did that time go? Have a lovely day, lots of love. Um, Mum and Dad will, will sort Prezi on the phone. Yeah, I need to send them my bank details. <laughs> so, thank you. I know technically you're not supposed to open cards to your birthday, maybe. But it is my birthday. And it's lucky that I didn't open the cards. I'll tell you why in a minute. I've got another one. There's only about two people left. This is a very educational card, yes. It is. This card felt suitable, as I think, of your wit and sense of humour. Yeah, but it's not a funny card, though. Lots of fun and laughter. Oh, I've maybe just talking about the laughter bit. Despite the zombie plague, I'm going out more at present. I went to London last week and headed north for a few days in September, on September the 9th, we are doing a few invitation only events at the centre under COVID secure conditions. A friend of ours, Lee, is becoming a Mitra in October. Um, he used to be a lead guitarist in a band called The Ferrets. I'm sure you and Andre will be very proud. So it's dear Jason, happy birthday. Lots of love to you and Andre and all friends and family. He hasn't even written his name because he knows I know who it's from. Didn't even write his name in it. It's Santa Claus. So that's my friend Diasara. I used to live with him. He's a Buddhist, ordained. And I used to live with him in, from 2005, early 2005 until late 2007. Aria says, I'm still here, I'm just tidying in my bedroom and listening along. Yeah, to be fair, I don't think it is something to watch, is it? It's, it's like background sound, isn't it really, me? Um, 50, doesn't that sound old, really? Doesn't sound that old, really, sorry. There you go. Dear Jason, Hope you have a very happy birthday with lots of fun because after this you will need a rest now. S because it. I don't need a rest. I'm not like that. <laughs> well, okay. Thank you. In dog years, you'll be 350 by now. Really? This gives you an idea. This is from Rachel. If you can see that. There was, this was the heaviest card I've ever, ever opened. I thought, I actually thought that someone sent me a card with gold bullion inside, it was so heavy. I had to get help from a neighbor just to pick it up. And about 7,000 of these you can see that. Oh, my nail's dirty, that's bad, isn't it? Seven thousands of these. <laughs> of these. Fell out on the floor. In the kitchen floor. Luckily, it was a kitchen floor because it's easier to clear them up. Everywhere. They are everywhere. Oh, 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 we. <laughs> Vanessa says, we are laying in bed as we do when we listen to you and watch you. Good for you. Oh, I'm nearly getting to the end of them. No. Really? Oh, yeah. It's really, I get so carried away, I thought I had hundreds. So, here's the last one 50. Uh, it says, 
if things get better with age, then you're approaching a magnificent. Happy birthday. Thank you. To Jason, happy 50th birthday. I think we should all have some cheeky drinks. Love, Michelle. So that's my neighbour uh, downstairs. So thank you, Michelle. She won't be listening because she's not on my Facebook. Don't like it that much. <laughs> I'm joking about not liking it, but the I don't have friends on Facebook. I don't have real life. I don't have people that I know. I'm gonna have to word this correctly after all these cards I've been sent. And that lovely video and people watching and everything. Um, I generally don't have, I've got a couple. Thank you, Coral. Thank you. Um, happy birthday to me. Oh, co co yeah, Coral. Um, I don't have really family or friends on my Facebook page. It's the only reason I ever came onto Facebook. First of all, out of interest, it was intrigue, you know, back in, I think it was 90, no, 90, 2000 and. Was it six or 2007? I forget. 2007, I think. And I was like, okay, let's check this out. Uh, because I was already with MySpace, and that's where my work, I was work, producing my work and putting my videos and uh, podcasts and stuff onto there. So I, I kind of had both running at the same time. And then, I suppose over time, people started to add me. Yeah, Aria says, do you mean you don't have any in-person friends on here? Yeah, people that I see. Does that make, does that make sense? Um, I've been told off uh, in the past for, <laughs> for saying that, and I don't mean it in that way. Uh, don't, I mean, in a someone that I see, and I don't see many people anyway, but it's, uh, you know, I do have contact with some people and I get messages and I say hello to people, you know, on my let me boy to sleep. If I get a message, provided it's not like hugely personal, I will read it out. Um, and by personal, what I generally mean is if someone's told me something very yeah, personal about what's going on. Uh, it's not always easy, easy to know what's personal and what's not. But if it's a, a general uh, thank you, I really like what you do, thank you very much, or, you know, I'm, I'm almost sounding dismissive, aren't I? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and I love those messages, I really do. It means... Uh, for me, it's motivating. It's very, very motivating. Although I haven't had many messages the last week or so. Um, I go through phases where I get lots of messages on my website and then nothing for a while. Yeah. I've run out of things to talk about. It happened. It finally happened. You were here. You were here when it happened. It had to happen eventually. I had to one day just become, just to get dry. Get dry? You know. A can of Coke. Now Rachel, is Rachel here? Where is Rachel? Rachel. Um, are you waiting for me to motivate you, Jason? <laughs> um, is Rachel here? Rachel's not here. Where's Rachel? Now, I have a lot of contact with Rachel. Um, online. But she's very supportive and 
I don't know where she is. I was thought she'd. How do I contact her? Rachel. It's not that I just don't want her to miss because in the past I've done live streams and she's missed it and she's been annoyed. Oh, okay. Oh, great. So now the Facebook's shut me out. How annoying. Coral says, I'm in Scotland. Hi. How you doing? I'm trying to... It's not letting me log in. Oh, yes, it is. How weird. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because I had Facebook in the... Yeah, I'm going to look at that area and see if I can invite her. Um, I did invite her. I sent her um, a message earlier. Rachel. Molly created a group. Oh, okay. That's brilliant, Molly. Are you... Are you... Attending? I'm live now. I'm also on 50, so get here while you can. No. Oh, God, I've just sent that to the wrong person. Rachel, this was, um, she sent me a message saying, Elvis Presley, the wonder of you, is number one when I was born. I knew that, actually. I looked at that years ago, because I'm a big Elvis fan. The wonder of you. See? Uncanny, eh? Are you joining? Now, Rachel might already be here. And if, if you are here, Rachel, and I've already said hello to you, sorry. I'm just, uh, I'm losing track a little bit. I don't do many of these, do I? I don't do many live video broadcasts on Facebook. And, which probably shows. I don't even look at the camera, do I? I'm not looking down there all the time. I'm used to just talking, uh, you know, into this thing over here, which is the, shall I just show you? I'll move this around a bit. Whoops. This is my setup. I don't know if you could, if that makes sense. That's my, oh no, the picture's gone now. That's better. The, this is a tablet I use to record the audio. The iPad is what I do the editing on. And the phone is what I'm now doing to record because the, the camera on the iPad isn't particularly good for some reason. Uh, it's, it's better daylight. I think if I took it outside in the daylight, I think it'd probably be equal possibly to the iPhone. But at night, I mean, look, there's not really any background. Um, there's no background light. It's just a light over there. And the picture's fairly good, I think. I tra Vanessa says, it's okay, I traced it down. I'm good. Blimey, it just shows you how late I'm getting these messages on Facebook itself. Don't I look bored when I look down? I know I shaved my head, but I actually look bald. I look like I'm... When you shave your head, you shouldn't look like you're receding, should you, really? If you're already bald, if you've, if you've shaved your head to be bald, you shouldn't... Uh, Boston says, how's a soundproofing padding? So, can you see... Um, you see the soundproofing I've got? All on the walls. Actually, you can see at the top where I took it off. Um, but it's soundproofing. 
all over there as well. That's my telly. And then there's soundproofing up there. I don't know if you can see that. On the one, two, three, four, five. That's the soundproofing there. Yee. So it's alright, you didn't get all of it, but that I sit in that chair over there where the, the soundproofing's on the wall, the last bit of soundproofing I show you. And I've got a little table and I I record there. Not for all the recordings because Andre likes to sleep in there with me. He likes to be in the same room as me quite a lot. I'll move the camera a bit. But when he's in a deep sleep and he's in the other room, I can do... Vanessa says, we like the shaved look. You wear it well. Well, thank you. I mean, I liked the wig that I used to wear, especially the uh, the chin wig. That was nice, but, you know, just getting it all lined up with all the glue and stuff every day, just... Coral says, hello, Jonah. Jonah. Uh, Coral says, where are you in England? Trying to guess your accent. I live in... Um, look, I know where I live. I'm just reading other messages at the same time. This is hard for me. Um, I live in Essex. So you know where if you, you probably know where Essex is. It's it's not I'm about sixty miles from London. So as far as my accent, I don't I'm not really I don't really think I have got a southern accent. I think that's that's true, but I don't think I've really got an accent necessarily. I spent a lot of time living in London during my twenties throughout the whole of my 20s and Boston seems to want to tell everyone my actual address stop that <laughs> and so it's Essex and I God, can you imagine if Sebastian was listening to this Boston can you imagine he'd be putting down my address he'd be putting pictures of where I live wouldn't he? He'd have an outlay. He'd, have, he'd be putting Google Maps on here. Oh, man. Sebastian. So, um... <laughs> I... Yes. Aria says, It's a similar accent to what I'm used to hearing, and I'm in Hampshire. Hampshire. Diane says, Happy birthday. Aria, um, Hampshire. Hampshire, where's Hampshire? Is Hampshire kind of Midlands? Is it? See, this is interesting because there's, I don't always have a huge amount of, because I don't do these very often. And the last time I did it, I think, I was surprised at how many people popped up and people pop up and they leave, you know, they do the different things. People that I've not really, didn't know was even listening to me. Boston, Boston says, I've been told I have an accent. You have a Boston accent, Boston. Go and have some coffee. Go and have some coffee. <laughs> I don't like drama. <laughs> I don't like drama. That's, that's uh, Boston. I think, out of the characters from Cheers, I think the person with the most Boston accent seems to be Cliffy. And possibly, um, what's her name, the little, the tiny little um, squeaky one, Carla. Um, Coral says, I thought you were going on to say Nottingham. 
I used to know someone in Nottingham. Nottingham's nice. I quite like Nottingham. Yeah. Coral, um, yeah. Hampshire, south west, south east. Cliff and Carly, yeah. You know, tomorrow, see, I can't help it. People, I don't think people realise how I actually really am boring. Uh, and I said this to a couple of people who, it's like, if only you realised, you know, you wouldn't actually want to meet me because you'd really, after about 10 minutes, you'd think, oh, I could listen to this. I could listen to this at home. Um, Hampshire's southeast. So you don't live near this. No, Aria, you do live near the sea. No, Hampshire. Is that? Um, like Harrogate area. In New England, we have a New Hampshire. Yes, because in America, everything's new. Your country's only about four years old. <laughs> There's a lot of places that's named after English places. Um, Arius is right next to the sea, actually. But it's not. But you're lying. But you've never seen the sea. <laughs> you've never seen the sea. <laughs> um... I used to live by the sea, twice. I lived at two different places that, lived, that were, had a sea next to them. I do miss it a little bit. The good thing about the sea is, it's almost clean air. I quite like the clean air, you know, being, because um, you've got such a, a lot of air. I know what I'm saying, I think I know. Boston says it's amazing because she's there. Yep, exactly. Exactly. And even though you're a long way away, I'm way too scared to say anything to oppose you. <laughs> uh, I know that you could find me. Portsmouth, specifically, me exposing my... It don't matter area, now you know I'm in Colchester. Um, Portsmouth, I nearly nearly would have lived in Portsmouth because I nearly joined the Navy in 1991 no 1990 um, but I was the person in charge he said well you can join you know it's I had a test and I was physically quite fit back then and he said, but just to warn you, we're about to go to war. I said, really? He said, yeah, yeah, we'll be in the Middle East. We're already sending ships out there now. <laughs> and I said, right, I'm just going to pop out. I'll be right back. And I just ran. I didn't go back. I mean, for me, I wanted to, I, I, you know, in my naivety, I thought this is peacetime and I'd get to just you know, travel the world and stuff, but that isn't what would have happened. <laughs> um, Deb says, I live right by the sea, literally 10 steps and I'm on the beach. Arias laughing. You know what? My uncle, the best uncle I ever had, I don't have him anymore because he was part of the, the first, the second mother I had. He was her brother, or still is her brother. And, um, he had a house on the beach. I mean, literally, his house crossed the road, it was more like a dirt path, really, go over some shrubs, which you could just cross over quite easy, and you're on the beach. And then there was, it's like, wow. Beautiful, really beautiful. And problem with it I, I found this out from like I think someone else told me that the foundations and the actual building had salt damage 
because it was so close to the beach, completely damaged by salt. It's like, wow. However, if you was to sell a plot of land, knock out down a building, that plot of land would still be worth an absolute fortune. But it was a lovely house, had a pool table, and a jukebox. And it's really weird that I just, one of my, my fondest memories in my childhood was going there and my uncle coming back with some Cornish pasties and they were warm. They weren't hot, they weren't cold, but they were warm. Just ripe for your tummy, just really perfect. Well, you know, we've all got our own but specific um, pain tolerance for heat on our tongue. I guess, but mine was just perfect for me. Brilliant pasty, didn't have to spit any of it out. No, no chunky, horrible bits in it. Um, which was good because, you know, I've visited people in the past, had a pasty and I've left and, you know, everything's fine, but they didn't realize, you know, I knew that when they went to clear up later or whatever, there'd be a big pile of bits of food behind the sofa because I, <laughs> No, I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, Aria Boston says, I'd love to have a house near the beach. I would, and I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I, it's really cold in the winter. Is it like a pie? A Cornish pasty, yeah. Um, don't know, oh, do you not have pasties in, in Boston? Mind you, you call pizza, you call pizza's pie. I have a pizza pie. Is that a piece of pie? No. Pizza pie. We don't call them that here. But uh, it's like a... Do you remember Star Trek? The, the Next Generation. And the Klingon. And he had that thing going down his forehead. It was like that. Like pizza. That was kind of like the top of a pasty. That was, I think, the reason why people had pies and pasties in the old days is because they had Molly. How dare you say you've got to go? Why have you got to go? It's only nine o'clock in the morning. It's ten o'clock in the morning. Where are you going? Harry says, I thought net. I thought I'd never thought I'd hear. Okay, Calzone. I don't know. Cindy Vaughan. Hi, Cindy. Um, yeah, I think you could eat a pasty because the filling was what the food was. All right, never thought I'd hear someone compare pasty. I'm just trying to think the visual. Molly's, you've got a two year old to entertain. Oh, why don't you, why don't you, I say a big, give a big wave to your, to your two-year-old. Hi, two-year-old. Well, thank you, Molly, I really appreciate um, what you did today, I appreciate that. Molly's going, bye everyone. The good thing about it, now she's gone, we can talk about her. Yeah, yeah. Wait, till she, how will we know she's actually gone before we can talk about her? I don't know. Um, Molly, have you gone yet? So we can... Lily says Stromboli is off the chain. I'm not sure what is that, an in, a musical instrument? I don't know. Lily says bye. Are you going as well? Bye, Molly. Thank you. You're great. Molly was great, wasn't she? Thank you, Molly. Aria um, is laughing at someone. I don't know who. Um, so, just, just who's gone so we can talk about them? I'm gonna <laughs> Boston. Don't tell her. Hold on. What I thought is. Um, 
what's her name, Molly could come on here and she could have a baby, say hello. Quickly, but never mind. Oh, he said goodbye to Molly. Molly, Molly? Mind you, imagine a two-year-old. That's, that's full-time work, isn't it? Constant. Liz says, I'm not gone. Stop having a tantrum. Christopher, hi, Christopher. I'm not here. Oh, good, we can talk about Christopher then. Let me tell you a story about Christopher. A few years ago, <coughs> let me tell you this. No. Uh, Vanessa, I'm not leaving now. You're not leaving? Oh. Oh, no, no, I mean, good. I'm, getting, I'm all over the place. Aria, I'm also not here. You're imagining me. Well, um, mm, could be true. It could be true. So, let me have a look. So, is everybody actually on my Facebook friends list? Is everybody? Hey? Eh? Everybody on my friends list? Everybody that could be? Anyone? Everyone? Are ya? Are ya? Are you on my friends list? Do you like to listen to me? Okay, sorry. Um, I am seven years older than you and a great grandmother, Cole, Cole says. Um, not sure how that's supposed to make me feel good, but <laughs> I, that I could be a great grandfather. Oh, I feel old. Mind you, I don't have any grandparents. I'm grand. Well, I don't have any grandparents. But I don't have any grandchildren. And from what I see from my dad, they they gave him a new lease of life. Almost um, gave him. Gave him like happiness that I'd never seen before. Yeah, I'm just. Harry says I think oh, I'm on your friends list. I know I was just looking at different people, yeah, you know, to see who was on. But not everybody. Some people follow me on Facebook on my other page. Lilith says, "What about?" <laughs> Our ginger child. Well, Lilith. Um, here's me thinking that was a private conversation. <laughs> me and Lilith decided that if we if we got together, if we had a baby, obviously she's living in another country, but there's a possibility, even though I've got dark hair underneath the scalp somewhere. And she's got dark hair. We both have the ginger gene. Now, my my grandmother's brother was ginger, and two of my cousins had ginger children. They weren't with ginger men, <laughs> gingerbread men. They weren't with. They didn't um, get together with men that had ginger hair but the ginger gene is in there somewhere. So I might. I'm probably a bit old. 50's a bit old, isn't it, to have a kid, really? Plus I'd need a... Boston says, you're ginger as well, are you? Ah. I've dated a few gingers over the years. Mmm, ginger cookies. Vanessa, you're on my level there. Ginger cookies. Oh, mm. gingerbread children are much to think about. Yeah, I'd see. I I had a girlfriend when I was at school that had ginger hair, and I liked ginger hair. Just you know, um, and I had I had a lot. Of, I don't like the word had. It sounds almost, you know, I had a, you know, I don't mean it in that way. But I dated, kind of. What other ones? 
Um, 95, I dated a girl who was ginger. 91, I dated a girl, kind of, that was ginger. Um, Lily says, a whole fa files family of gingers. Area, I'm hungry now. Yeah, I had um, some chocolate cookies the other day. Well, they weren't chocolate, they were... Um, I had to explain it. They were, they were like normal cookies on the outside, but chocolate on the inside. But they were warm. Oh. It made my nipples tingle. Seriously, they were really good. Vanessa said you should do a cooking show and we can make cookies. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it now. Is my dad had red hair and blue eyes. Those steely blue eyes. Yeah, a lot of ginger people do seem to have, and fair hair, freckle, freckles as well, isn't it? It's, uh, there's, I think Michelle, who sent me a card, she's ginger, but she, I think she dyes her hair, but she's definitely quite a gingerish. Um, oh, there was this girl I really liked when I was working at uh, insurance, the first insurance job I had, and she was fiery, but she, I just really liked her for some reason. Uh, well, it wasn't just how she looked, I just got on well, well with her. She was younger than me. And she had, I think she was half, I think she was half Iranian and half English, something like that. But she had really like ginger hair, and but it was curly, proper, almost afro kind of hair and so she had it back tied back and she was yeah she's like mixed mixed race I guess but just an unusual just had an unusual look about her and she was lovely and she I'm not sure how freckle she was because a lot of people wear makeup it's not always I can't always tell but there was one girl one woman that used to walk around the town and she had more freckles than she had skin. Aria says, let me bake you to sleep. You know what, imagine if I start doing baking shows, my belly would just pop. Vanessa says, you, you lot talk about redheads and I'm talking about food. I prefer food. I, I do. Yeah, food is probably my... It's weird, I think I got to that age. Um, I mean, earlier to, earlier the other day or whatever, I'm sure a woman was kind of, not coming on to me, but just offering me an opportunity to sort of, I don't know, talk or something. And I was like, yeah, see ya. Just can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> I had television to watch and I had ice cream in the freezer. Jason, Leslie says, Jason, I am tired, but it's so good to see you. I will see this video later. Best wishes from Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. It's very kind of you. Um, I did have a girlfriend that dyed her hair ginger. And I think she was already ginger but not ginger ginger, but she dyed her hair really ginger and it threw me off. It's not that I can't forgive her. <laughs> it's just, it just really, I think if you're with someone, you need to <laughs> just let them, it's like if I was with someone and I, and someone met me and I had a big beard and long hair and suddenly I just started, decided to shave my head and shave my beard off. Probably be nice to tell them first to see what their reaction is going to be. I know it's my hair and my beard, it's up to me what I do with my body and my head. But you know, I think it's nice to have a little bit of you know, I actually did shave, I, I cut my long hair when I was younger 
And the woman I was with, dating with, she didn't want to be with me anymore because, um, well, I slept with her sister. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, because my long hair, she liked me with long hair. And because my long hair was gone, she wasn't no longer attracted to me. See? <sighs> Never mind. And it says, speaking of food, I'm going to go get something to eat and try to relax for the night. Good night, evening, to everyone. A good night, Aria. And a good evening to everyone as well. Yeah. Did you hear, if you listen to yesterday's recording, Andre did the biggest fart. I was so proud. Lily's saying, good night. I don't have to read other people's messages if they say it to other people, do I? Anyway, she says good night, Aria. So I've been on here for an hour and 12 minutes. So now I've gone one o'clock, so it's probably time for me to bring this to a close, really. Because... I don't know why. Rachel's not come on here. Why has Rachel not come on? I wonder if Rachel fell asleep. So let me have a look at some of the messages I got it, so I can tell you about them. So Vanessa, we thought you did that fart. No, I never, I've never ever farted in my life. Um, Kissy said, "Thank you for your invite, but it's a bit late for me. You have uh, have to get up early in the morning in the Netherlands." We're an hour ahead of you in the UK, but I'd like to wish a very happy, happy birthday. Lots of love, Kissy. Thank you, Kissy. Um, let's have a look at other messages. Brooke, I think Brooke did come on earlier just for a quick hello and said happy birthday. So thank you, Brooke. And Fiona said, I would, but I'll be sleeping. So, thanks, Brooke, um, Fiona. Yannicka says, Happy 50th birthday, Jason. Hope you're having a blast. Wishing you a great day and that all of your wishes will come true. Thank you, Yannicka. Uh, what other ones? Riley. Riley says, A. John says, John unsent a message. I wonder what did he send? What did you send? Cindy says, it's only 7.15 for us in Florida. Not here. <laughs> it's, it's quarter past one in the morning. Who's that just come on there? Someone come on. Someone just come on. Oh. Um, well... The reason I did it so late is specifically, Leslie says, happy birthday, Jason. Many blessings to you always. Thank you, Leslie. It's very kind. Uh, the reason I came on at sort of midnight was specifically to try and be available to people from all over the world. When I say all over the world, I mean, it's four people listening. I don't mean the whole world. Um, I just mean so the people that are in America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, England, you know, different parts of Europe, uh, China, I, d I don't know if I, um, it's hard to know with China if I get many listeners there because of the, the internet, it's very, they seem to have their own internet over there. Um, so there must be a way to tap into it, but then I don't know how many I don't know what the level of English speakers are in China. Mind you, there's probably more English speakers in China than there are in England, just for the simple fact of the billions of people they've got living there. Oh, I'm just looking at this picture on my laptop. Wow, is that really you? Boston. So 
Boston, you've, you've posted. What is this website? What is this page? What is the page? It's called Rachel, Deb, Molly Rose and two others. So you've got, oh, it's like a conversation you've got going. So I've got a picture of, um, of Boston. Wow, you do have, it's very curly as well, isn't it? Very long. Uh, Vanessa says, us four are watching, but it's really six. Kevin is still watching with me. Wow. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna click the see more bit, Let's see what else it says. No, it's not gonna work on the name. It says see more, but it won't actually allow me to. I'm kind of a ginger myself, as far as my beard. Um, the ginger bits turned gray. And the same happened with my hair, like the ginger bits that were at the front. I didn't really notice that much, probably more in the summer than in the winter. But my ginger, my, my beard was always ginger, quite a gingery beard. And the ginger turned to grey. Not all of the gingers. And when I shaved it all off the other day, the amount of grey in my beard was phenomenal. I mean, my hair and my beard, because um, I put them on the floor and made a little face. And the, the beard was a different colour to my hair, on my head. Very weird. Boston says she's gone grey. Vanessa says just the next, just extra dots. Oh, okay. Um, Trish is watching Boston. I have another pic somewhere, but I need to find it. Um, no, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're okay. Thanks. No need. <coughs> Melanie says, happy 50th birthday. Oh, happy day of birth. Uh, thanks. Uh, Linda, Linda, Linda says, I'll be at work, but I might make it for the end. Happy birthday. Thank you, Linda. So even though you perhaps not made it, you'll hear me say thank you. Because a lot of people that support me um, Linda, this is Georgie. Happy birthday. Thanks, Georgie. Um, hope your legs have uh, healed up from the sunburn you had. Uh, let's, let's have a look. So, Riley. Hi, Riley. And so many people. Bethany Maria. If I don't make it, happy birthday. So thank you, Bethany. Vanessa says, I, I'm i naive. I have dark brown eyes and honey dark. I have, oh no, I'm native. I have dark brown hair and honey brown eyes. Yeah, I'm, I'm native, I, I, I don't know. I would say, I reckon, I mean, my heritage is from my grandmother's side, is Irish. So my dad's side of the family is sort of half Irish, half English. So I'm, I guess I'm a quarter Irish. But I, I'd say I'm probably I probably, if you looked at my DNA, I'd probably go back to perhaps Roman days, and I used to be an emperor. Vanessa says Aboriginal. You know, I always, always liked the idea of being, being able to actually trace back where I was from. I know, I suppose you can do that now, can't you? There's techniques and um, it's, 
but just to but to know to have it you know passed down so someone to say well you're from you were you know you're from Canada you were born in Canada and so were your ancestors and you were in Canada before Canada was supposedly discovered by Americans or English or whoever I don't know what country said that they discovered Canada so yeah I think I don't know what I am I think I'm I think I'm an alien I just don't seem to fit a particular I mean, I'm not really white I'm all red not ready skin um, I burn in the sun, so I'm kind of, you know, a gremlin, I guess. I used to blister, when I was a kid, I used to blister in the sun. So maybe that sensitive red skin, reddish skin, uh, or, you know, pale, but I'm not pale, really. I don't know, it's weird. I think I'm just a mixture. Cindy says, I stay pink. Yeah, I, I can get sunburned in the winter. Seriously, if it's really sunny, I can get sun, I can catch the sun in the winter. I'm not talking about snow on the ground, you know, where there's the glare, and like when you're in a mountain, you can get sunburned, and it doesn't make sense, but it's because of the, it's the I suppose you're higher up, you're closer to the sun, aren't you? But yeah, I do, I, I get. Also, I've got lizard skin. <laughs> Look, I've got some in my pocket. <laughs> lizard skin. So, yeah. Who else is there? Maria Bunt. I think I send messages to some people that don't even know who I am. That are also on my fa Facebook page. Hmm. And some people didn't reply. Bastards. Oh, remember. Jacqueline. I want to say hello to Jacqueline. Um, so she, I don't think she's seen my message yet, but it would have been lovely to have seen you here. So, hi. Uh, Vanessa says, I'm Canadian in my living room. But when I'm in the bathroom, Kevin says I'm European. Really? Um, uh, I'm not sure what that means. Um, Cindy says me too, especially in Florida. Are the alligators just walking around in Florida? I mean, do they? Do they, do they hang out in coffee shops? I don't know. Do they go to the gym? I just heard that there's a lot of alligators in Florida. That would be a little bit uh, scary. People are reacting to my video. All right, of course I'm actually on live, aren't I? I'm thinking why people are reacting to my video, but I'm doing a video. I kind of forgot. Can you watch it from the beginning? If it's live, can you just watch it from the start? So I don't know. Oh look, I can. This is where I can see. I've had 210 comments. Cindy says no bugs. Vanessa, when you're in the bathroom, you're European. Oh, I was being very slow, wasn't I? Dear, oh dear. I'm not great at puns. Wow. Um, 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 um. Oh, 
want to say? Um, Eighty-three minutes I've been recording. Oh, here's something I can do while we're live because I know that everyone enjoys it. Guess what I'm going to do? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. Are you ready? You ready? My stats. See, you haven't heard me do my stats today. Yeah. So yesterday, so far this week, Sunday, because it's now Wednesday, but Wednesday hasn't really started yet, and the stats go to half one, which is about now, and they will usually a couple of hundred ads added onto it when they process it. But Sunday, I had 5,464 downloads, Monday, 5,495 downloads. Tuesday, 5,559. So it's gone up every day. Um, that will probably be about 5,700, if not more, once they've kind of sorted the stats out. That's not bad, is it? It's not bad for little old me. Little old me. So, I seem to be averaging probably about a five and a half thousand, which is, uh, <laughs> Cindy says fart. You thought I was gonna talk about farting. Um, Vanessa says that was great. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, I'm quite pleased with the stats. I think the one that's really no one's interested. I love. I can see the number going down as as I'm talking about this. It's a good way to wind things down, isn't it? It's like playing when I was a DJ. You'd always, you'd always play a. Sometimes you play a slow song. Boston says, "Okay, I've got to get offline, but glad I was able to attend your party. Happy birthday, my friend. Thank you, Boston, and." Thank you for being there, but for everyone that's listening, Boston's been around. That's all I'm saying, she's been around. No, she's, Boston's been my friend for, was it 10 years on here? And it's helped me out quite a few times over the years, actually, so. Um, so yeah, thank you. I don't know what that was, that was me sort of saying thanks. Okay, here's, here's my most popular podcast now. Wow! It's not the most popular, but it is. Daily, now it's becoming it. So the relaxation, hypnosis of stress and anxiety, 1,844 downloads today, or yesterday. And so far I've got 305,926 altogether. Which means there's only one that's a one that's ahead of it, and that's the hypnosis of sleeping deeply at three hundred thirty-six thousand. But the relaxation one will overtake that, probably within a bit, a week or two. Wow! Now let me bore you to sleep. I've got one hundred and seventy-nine thousand two hundred fifty-three. It's, it's way behind, but in some ways it's the most fun. So, and so I think it's it's nice to even things out, have a have some sort of serious stuff to sleep to, then then have some kind of just playful stuff that these are. It's nice to have a bit of everything. Um, but also, if you did listen to my recording yesterday, number 481, Let Me Boy To Sleep, the headline was of that one was Ali Sherlock is an amazing singer. Check her out on YouTube. Phenomenal singer. Honestly. And I'm, 
if you was going to ask me who was my favourite female singer, because you said who's my favourite male singer, I've got lots. I haven't got that many female singers that are just I love, you know. I mean, Whitney Houston. Um, I would have put Madonna there as well. I loved, I loved her. Only up to the Like a Prayer album. After that, I didn't really, not so much like her stuff. I listened to it, but I didn't buy it. Um, other theme, Mariah Carey, but I never once bought one of her albums. I like her songs, but you know, never really bought the albums. Um, Tracy Chapman, I said Tracy Chapman was probably my, f and her voice is so amazing. I like, I just, no one sings like her. I like that when no one, when you can hear someone and know who it is straight away. Like Rod Stewart. You know, straight away, you know, it's Rod Stewart. Um, there's a lot of singers that are like that. It's, it's just to have that uniqueness. Bob Dylan. And people, I've heard people say oh, Bob Dylan couldn't sing. Well, you know what? I think he's one of the greatest, not just songwriters, but singer songwriters. I loved his voice. Because it was his voice. He, people like, um, probably Tracy Chapman, uh, Rod Stewart, they probably would never have fared very well being on a talent show. I mean, I've, Rod Stewart might have been on a talent show, I don't know. But let's say Tracy Chapman, and um, with her unique voice, or Bob Dylan, you know, they were like, well, he can't sing. She can't. She, you know, don't sound like they're supposed to sound. And they'll be singing other people's songs that wouldn't sound right. But when they sing their own songs, it sounds perfect because it's their songs. Vanessa wants to talk about food again. What's your favourite cake? <laughs> You're obsessed with cakes. Um, Bob Dylan singing. That's my favourite cake. Um... I don't eat much cake. Probably, I do like a nice gatto, but it's not something that you buy when you're on your own. It's, it, it's, it's always something I'd only eat if I was like visiting family and they had a gatto and you know, we'd all have a piece. I like Christmas cake, but I'm not a big fan of all the icing. But I do like the juiciness of a nice Christmas cake. I like a birthday cake. See, my 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 step my mum my step mum my third mum whatever you, she's a cake decorator. Like professional and so she's been making cakes always like any wedding that comes up she makes the cake for the wedding and I like I'm not really a big fan of the icing it's a little bit heavy for me marzipan again it's not that I don't like the taste of marzipan because it does taste nice but it's a little bit it's almost a little bit too sweet for me and I've got a sweet tooth I suppose I hate the taste of sugar, but icing a little bit too, a little too sweet. I'll tell you what I like, ganache, same to you, <laughs> don't call me a ganache, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, I used to do baking at school. And I used to help my second mum out in the kitchen when we was at home because either that or working in the the garden. So I used to I'd be in the I'd be in the kitchen cooking in the warmth of my 
my two brothers would be outside in the garden digging freezing cold and I'll be looking through there and I'll be you know I'll be licking the out the uh, bowl and I'll look at them and I'll be going <laughs> to them because you know I was nice and warm of course they got me back when they you know got me on my own later but it was worth it and so icing before it sets icing in the bowl much nicer than when it's set when it's hard it's not as well for me personally I like it when it's but then cake dough the problem the problem with cake dough is it smells too good it tastes too good but it's not good for your tummy it's it might as well just be a laxative I mean I don't know why if people are constipated give them give them some raw cake mix dough you know before it's been put in the oven that stuff goes through you but tastes so good my favourite cakes you got me on a subject that I actually didn't realise I like talking about it's something that's warm but it's just come out of the oven I mean you could literally bring out a cow turd and just bring that out and it's just like it's warm no but I, I like I just <laughs> I like warm like warm bread that's just come out of the oven warm cakes boiled icing and chocolate cake boiled icing boiled icing So when you say boiled icing, okay, let me get you. Let me just ask you if this is what you mean, because I've never heard it worded that way before. But that might just be a a, a different like country thing. Um, so how we say it. Let me just is it what does it mean? You got a saucepan with water in, and you got a plastic tub that you put inside the saucepan, and then you you put icing in. And melt it. Maybe. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I've, I've just. Yeah, I think if I was a cake eater, although it's really annoying me because all I want to do now is eat cake, and I ain't got nothing. I no cake. Zilch. Really want some? Um, there's a few things I've really loved when I was a kid. <clears throat> Yawning. Uh, rock cakes. One of my things I used to love. Vanessa says icing, sugar, butter, and vanilla. No. You know what I'm thinking? I might not actually. I might just leave the video on and not bother with the audio. Is it worth putting the audio onto the fate? Into the. Yeah, I might do. I'll do it tomorrow, maybe. Or later. Another thing, I used to quite like the Rice crispy cakes. Or the Rice crispy fingers. Oh, man really nice oh yeah oh yeah but stuff I think desserts I would say profiteroles are among my favourite desserts now I don't eat why am I lying I do eat desserts but I don't um 
sorry that Lily says I'm bringing you back to childhood. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, see, some good stuff did happen. You know, so I do. I think the food was quite good back then. Probably because it was cooked for me, and I don't. I was surprised because I spent years cooking at home. You know, helping out, mixing. You know, even reading the menus, the, you know, how to put the stuff together, weighing the stuff. I did um, home economics. I was cooking at school for three years, making all kinds of food. I went to catering college uh, for a year, and I worked in numerous places where I cooked food catering jobs and in 2006 I think it was on Macmillan Day we all brought cakes into work and I bought some stuff to make and I ruined every single one of them I couldn't even make a cake After all that, couldn't even, and I'm talking cake mix. I'd actually even, I'd bought cake mix just to sort of, you know, put together. It burned everything. So I spent about 20 pound, 30 pound on the tins and the mix. It was for good, I mean, Macmillan's charity, it's a cancer charity and it's amazing. So I think, you know, the idea was to sell the, the cakes for a pound each or something. And, Everyone was doing their bit and, you know, so I was really happy to be involved. But I didn't have any cakes at the end of it. So I, I ended up on the way to work having to go to Marks and Spencer's or, and get some cakes from there. So I spent another £20. So it cost me about £50. And I think we made probably £8 <laughs> on the cakes for charity, so that was an expensive day, it really was, not eight pound, There's, there must be at least 20 cakes for 20, yeah, but there wasn't a lot of money made, you know, and uh, that's all right though. Mm. No, I'm still annoyed about it. I just realised I'm still annoyed. Anyway. Lilith, 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 Lilith. So, for those of you still listening, I'm going to wind this up. So, I want to thank you all. I've been on here for nearly two hours. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for the video. Thank you for the cards. And I really appreciate um, the kindness that you've shown. So thank you very much. And I'm going to chill out for a, a little while and probably go to bed. Yo. So thank you. And here's to another 50 years. Cheers. And remember, if you don't see me saying this, you hear it, maybe if you don't see me saying it, remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Remember that. So do something nice for yourself. If you've done something nice for me tonight or today, do something special for yourself. So thank you, everyone. Lots of love. Mwah, 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 mwah. See y'all.